my mother and I visited Benihana and in the preceding clips to come, you shall see how all unfurled. Benihana is a Japanese inspired American restaurant chain, which was founded in 1964 in New York City, New York. Its headquarters rests and abides in Miami, Florida. My mother and I visited the Encino location, which is a few miles from the Cheesecake Factory that I reviewed some months ago. As far as the wait time, we made our reservation for approximately 6.15 p.m. after we left the mall, picking up a few things from Victoria's Secret. And when we arrived, we valeted our car, and then there was really no place to sit in the restaurant as far as like a waiting area because it was all packed. So we actually sat near the bar area and it was really dimly lit and it was very warm and cozy. It was almost like a lounge vibe. And we just sat there and kind of reviewed the appetizers and the drinks and um, the meals just to see what we might want to indulge in once we actually were seated and we were seated i think around like 6 45 or 7 so the wait was a little bit extensive but not too unbearable once we were called we were seated at our table with a lovely family and it was a young man and his girlfriend that were kind of the highlight of the table because it was the young man's birthday so they sung happy birthday to him and all of those festivities they primarily kept to themselves and me and my mother enjoyed our little cozy space at the end of the table my mother and i both secured the exact same meal which was the five course entree of the hibachi chicken and instead of the white rice we chose to get the spicy hibachi chicken fried rice which is an add-on so it was like $16.50 for both of us to get that added on to the actual entree that we were getting so that's a price on top of the price of the five course meal as soon as we were seated we were of course offered waters with a side of lemon my select libation of choice was of course a sparkling luscious rosé of the Prosecco variety. My mother opted for hot green tea which comes along with the entree itself so it is no additional fee. After we were given our drinks we received our French onion soup which was divine, delectable, warm, and sumptuous. As soon as we finished consuming our soup, the festivities officially began. Thank you, Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Our chef, of course, lit the volcano fire through the ring of onions, and we all proceeded to enjoy our particular meals. So he started with the fried rice, uh, which it appeared that almost everyone at the table ordered as well. And then he proceeded to cook the chicken and the steak. So we received a little bit of everything on our plate. And that also came along with hibachi vegetables which included mushrooms and onions, and I do believe it was zucchini. I didn't partake because I don't particularly enjoy zucchini. Lastly, I don't believe our meal actually came with ice cream. Since it was someone's birthday at our actual table, the waitress extended the offer to provide us with complimentary ice cream. So we moved forward with that option. I believe the options are chocolate, rainbow sherbet, and green tea. I was oscillating betwixt the green tea and the rainbow sherbet, but I already had rainbow sherbet at home and I had already had a healthy dose of it. And I never um, buy, I never buy green tea ice cream and I never really see it out. So I wanted to do something that was, um, 
unique to that moment and unique to that experience and I do actually like it. It tastes very earthy and creamy. It almost tastes like a Thai tea to me as far as the the taste schematics. I don't know if that's correct, but it, it sounds illustrious, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. And my mother opted for the chocolate ice cream and she appeared to enjoy that very much as well. Um, she didn't particularly enjoy the hibachi chicken because she mentioned that it was way too plain and um, she typically likes thin chicken. Like it's not a just thin filet or thin breast of chicken. It's like chunks of chicken chopped up into like squares. It's not excessively large, but if you're looking for something thin, that's not it. Um, I think she might have liked it a little bit more if she asked them to make it spicy or also if she asked them to make it utilizing teriyaki sauce, she might have liked it. But I think she primarily enjoys the uh, spicy fried rice in itself. I think that's all she likes. Um, I enjoyed it because I was just was in like a neutral, plain kind of mood. And it suited my fancy just fine because it was just that it was neutral and plain. So if you want a little something something, that's really not it. And I do believe next time, I may get it to go because I don't need all that, um, you know, a chef dancing around and entertaining you like a clown. Um, I mean, they do it in a sophisticated, interesting manner. They're not like jokers or like clown essence, but I don't, I don't need all that. I just, and I don't need to be like at a table with innumerable individuals that I don't know. Um, I don't need all that. I like to be cozy, tucked away and like a booth or something with dimly lit lights like almost like yard house where it's like dimly lit and it's like cozy like that but it's still like sophisticated and still reasonably priced and decent options and some pop of flavor so that's a lovely concoction i need to go there i need to go back there so that was essentially my experience at benihana in a nutshell